So previously I made a quick video talking about how well PCSX2 runs on Macs, specifically my 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro and also my brother's base model M2 Air. Now in this video I thought I'd try out a few more different games just because in that video I only briefly went over the performance and I only tried like two or three games. I'm basically running these all on the default emulator settings. I haven't really changed anything. I applied a widescreen patch and I'm running the games at about 4k res. So first off I tried Need for Speed Most Wanted and this game runs extremely smooth. There is like normal rare hiccups here and there but most of the time buttery smooth 60 frames per second. Uh, there's not much graphical errors on here. The sun sometimes has these uh, blocky kind of pixelated sun rays but other than that there's not much going on and it also properly displays like the yellowish orange tint that the ps2 version has which when i tried on my pc before it didn't display so it runs great here next we tried nightfire and this is a pretty simple game to run it runs 60 frames per second also buttery smooth there's no lag here um, this it's a pretty simple game to run um, it's not that intensive so it was kind of expected but yeah it runs great no complaints here Next we have Mobile Suit Gundam, Federation vs. Zeon. Uh, this is also a pretty simple game to run. Uh, 60 frames per second and no lag whatsoever, even in intensive fights. This thing pretty much never drops below 60 frames. So very, very solid and buttery smooth here as well. Here we have Gran Turismo 4, which is actually one of the harder games to run on the emulator. I remember when I used to try to run this on my Zephyrus G15, for some reason it's very laggy on it, and no matter what I do with the settings, I can't get it to run smooth. But even on here, it's running fairly smooth. This is pretty much like 90% of the time it's running at 60 frames per second, and sometimes there's like hiccups here and there. Not like lag spikes or anything, but it just kind of slows down a little bit. Usually it's very, very smooth and it runs great, surprisingly great on this MacBook. Next we have Ace Combat 4, which is also something that previously gave me a bunch of graphical errors running it on my Zephyrus G15 uh, because of pro improper graphics settings or whatever. But like with all other games I tried here on the Mac, for some reason I don't really need to change anything and everything just runs great without any graphics hiccups. Um, but yeah, this game runs at 60 frames per second, buttery buttery smooth and it's just a great experience playing on this map. Here I tried another random game that I had lying around that I played many many years ago 
This is Drake in the Ancient Gates, I believe. And this game is locked at 30 frames per second. I'm not sure if there's any like 60 frames per second patches for the emulator, but I just, again, I'm running all these games on like default settings. There's like no cheats enabled or anything. Uh, no problems here. And yeah, it runs pretty great. Here we have Need for Speed Carbon. Now this game is a little bit harder to run than Most Wanted. It runs at 60, but this one has a little bit more lag stutters than uh, the other games like Most Wanted. It's still like 90, 85% smooth. Like it plays at a smooth 60 frames per second, but sometimes they're gonna have some like slowdowns, some stutters here and there, um, but nothing big. And there's some like weird graphical issues here where it's not like a game breaking kind of experience, but uh, the lights from the street lights, they kind of have like this weird ghosting effect. It can probably be fixed by some emulator settings if you changed it, but I didn't take the time to try to figure that out. I just ran it and it didn't really bother me too much, but yeah, it's there. But overall, this game is still very, very playable on this M1 Pro MacBook. Here we have one of my childhood games. This is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. And by default, this game is also locked at 30 FPS. Uh, they have some 60 frames per second patches that you can enable, like using the codes or whatever, but I haven't done that yet. And the widescreen also doesn't really work here unless you do some kind of patching. For me, I just ran it the way it is. And yeah, it's plays at a steady 30 frames per second the entire time. It doesn't drop any lower than that. It runs very, very smooth. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this can run 60 frames per second, no problem, if I were to run that patch. But I just haven't taken the time to do that yet. And I probably won't, because I mean, whatever. I used to play this game at 30 frames per second back in the day on the original PS2. So it's kind of the same feeling if I were to play it here. Okay, last of all, I just wanted to quickly show you, I wanted to play on my 4K TV at that internal resolution it was running at, which was about 4K res. It wasn't playing at full screen, like all the way, so I wanted to kind of enlarge to fill the entire TV. So just for fun, I tried running this at 7x native, which it says is about 2520p. And even at that setting, playing it was buttery smooth. It was also just a completely 60 frames per second experience, as if I were to run it when I was usually running it at 4K, or just on the laptop. And I have to say that this whole time, again, the fans have never come on on the MacBook. It's been dead silent, and it doesn't get hot. It does get warm to the touch when playing, but... It never gets hot and that's kind of what's amazing about this is that when I used to play this on my uh, Windows PCs it all gets hot the fans are blowing loud or whatever uh, but on the MacBook Pro it's just dead silent and it's just getting warm to the touch so it's very very efficient yet powerful so that's what's amazing about running PCSX2 the nightly version on the Macs so, yeah, uh, that's all the games I tested so far in this video. There's probably some more that I wanted to test, but I forgot to test. But that's all the games I had at the time. And, yeah, uh, that's about it. So, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.